Okay, what I've got here is a uh, twin cylinder Craftsman LT4000 with a six speed uh, peerless transaxle. Oh, and over here, we've got a Craftsman LT1000 with a hydro transaxle on it. So what I'd like to do, <clears throat> because I want to keep the LT4000 twin and sell this uh, little LT1000, I want to take the hydro off this LT1000 and I'm going to put it on that LT4000 over there. And then I'm going to take that six speed and I'm going to put it on this LT1000 because I want to keep the hydro and uh, I definitely don't want any more manuals. So these tractors have the same frame so hopefully everything will be able to just uh, swap out of uh, the hydro one and go right into this um, <clears throat> this LT4000. Okay we flipped the hydro tractor on its side uh, after taking off the uh, severely rusted out deck. I could reach my hand through places on it but anyway. Um, we want to see what's different on the hydro from the stick, uh, the six-speed models. We know the uh, we know the stick shift models pretty well because that's pretty much what we've dealt with as far as repairing because they're not that durable. Uh, but hydros, I've never had to change out a hydro because I've never had a problem with one. Also, I don't have as many, so I'm trying to see what's different here. Everything as far as uh, the pulleys for the clutch and the idler pulley. Everything there looks the same. Obviously, I'm, you know, the belt is going to be a different size. You can see back there, that's the, the trans pulley there is uh, obviously quite smaller than on the, uh, the manual shift ones. Put the bend here. Yeah, I wonder if that makes... Oh yeah, I think it does, Dave, because look, the, the hydro uh, rod yeah, is down. longer. Okay, so this the brake the brake clutch rod is well the brake rod is not the same. So this here is a uh, this is a brake rod from a uh, six speed Craftsman that we it's the same as the LT4000 that we're strip uh, that we're taking the transmission out of. Uh, it's obviously got a bend in it, which doesn't seem to make any difference, but it's shorter, so it's not gonna. So we're gonna have to swap out the rod. We also need to swap out the shift linkage. This is the shift linkage from a six-speed manual Craftsman. Now you can see, uh, this is, if you were looking at the back of the tractor, that's the stick that you use to change gears, and this is the linkage that actually changes gears on the transaxle. Now if we look, if we look at the linkage that's in here, you can see that it, uh, that the, uh, the part that actually, like the actual linkage that changes the speed is on the opposite side of the transmission. So this whole bar is going to have to, this whole bar right here is going to have to, it's going to have to come out. Um, the other thing that's different is the support braces. Oh, the support braces. Okay. All right. So the support braces are different. The brake rod is different. The shift linkage is different. So on the six speed, the shift linkage is on this side. Take out the transmission, the brake rod. The shift linkage, this bracket here, and this bracket here. All right, we got the wheels off. We got it flipped on its side. Now we're going to remove the transmission. It's held on by two bolts and nuts here, two bolts and nuts here, two bolts here, and two bolts there. And that should do it. Hydro out. Pulled that out. Everything came out fairly easily. Which would mean taking the six speed out of the other tractor is going to be a bitch. Mm -hmm. So we disconnected. We pulled out the brake rod, which is specific to the hydro. And we took the hydro out with these brackets, which are different for the six speed. Now we have to take out this bar here. This is the shift linkage uh, because that also is different, as I mentioned. And then the belt will have to come out and go with the hydro, and that ought to be it.
All right, we got the shift linkage out. Came right out of there nice and easy. So now, we're gonna pull this thing in, take its deck off, and take off the transmission on this one. All right, we got, there's the six speed, there's the hydro. Now we just have to take out the shift linkage and we can start putting in the uh, new shift linkage for the hydro. Okay, we got the hydro in, put in the brake rod, put the uh, belt from the other tractor on here. Everything fits up nice, everything bolted up fine. And I uh, got the shift linkage in, that's all fine. And I just took off the uh, six speed uh, bezel. I'm gonna switch it with the uh, bezel on the hydro. And I'm gonna put the tires on it and we should be good to go. Okay, we're all finished swapping the hydrostatic transmission onto this original six speed tractor. The only trouble that we ran into was that this plate from the hydro does not quite fit. The fender on the uh, models with the rear gas tank uh, is a little bit, the curve is a little bit different, so the holes don't quite line up, so we'll have to see how well this works, but seems like it'll be all right. thing doesn't line up right, neutral is about here. Oh, uh, so that's only that's the only thing. <laughs> so other than that, it, it works fine. Cool. This is now the king of the LT4000. Look at that. Important note. Um, we realized when we put the uh, six speed into this, what used to be hydro, now this one is uh, just a regular regular rear fender it's not the, the other one had a uh, gas tank in the back which we found out means that this fender is slightly ever so slightly higher maybe about a half of an inch higher than this fender so remember I showed you that we swapped uh, these shifting assemblies here um, because well we had to because the uh, this this one's from another stick shift and uh, the actuator bar is right here, but on a hydro, it's over here, so we had to swap them. Here's what we should have done. We should have swapped, take a look. We should have swapped this bar and this only, and left with each you know, fender this uh, shifting stick, because um, the little one from here fits perfectly in the bigger fender tractor. But the bigger fender tractor's shifting arm does not fit well in here. Right now, this tractor can only go to fifth gear before the lever jams up on the inside of the fender. So what we have to do now, it's only held in with like a little uh, uh, cotter pin. We just have to pull this pin out and then pull this stick out and uh, you gotta swap it. But um, it's not too bad, but uh, obviously it would have been nicer if we had done this first. So, that's pretty much the only problem we've really run into. And, uh, now we know. 